Hello, I'm Liz, and I'm an artist educator here at Maitland Regional Art Gallery. And today we're going to be doing a workshop inspired by this artwork in front of me by Wendy Sharp called Circus Oz. This is a seven metre long book that's created with gouache and pencil and she made it during 2016 where she did a residency with Circus Oz. She really immersed herself, spent time in the green room with the performers, they even came and visited her at her studio. And this artwork really captures the vibrant energy, the music and the incredible artistic performances. So let's take a closer look at this artwork. As I work through the pages, you might recognise some of the characters at the circus. Have a close look at the way that they've been described. So her way of approaching figures is quite loose, but very energetic. Notice the costumes, the variety of poses. Here you can see a collection of the circus troupe all together. If you have a close look at their faces, they all look like they're having a wonderful time. Here you can see perhaps some people practicing. You might like to imagine what these people might be thinking or feeling. How do you think it would feel to be an artist in the circus. Wendy does an amazing job of describing her figures using colour. And when you think about a circus, what are the kind of sounds that you can hear? Perhaps audiences clapping, laughing. Which act at a circus do you think is the most interesting act to watch or the funniest? Circus Oz is known for being a human only circus. You can see this character dressed up like a lion. So as you can see, very energetic, very vibrant book of figures and fun and energy. We're gonna move into the art making part of this video. So make sure that you have a nice clear space to work in and all you really need for this is some mark making materials. So whether that be pencils, textures, pastels, crayons, whatever you have at hand. You could even use watercolor or gouache like Wendy does. I've just got some textures and some oil pastels and I've got two sheets of A4 paper. You can work on A3 if you like and you can make your artwork as long as you like. You could even make it seven meters. This one, I'm just gonna make the length of four A4 sheets of paper. And what we're gonna do today is capture the energy of the circus through mark making. So you're gonna move your body a little bit if you like to. Remember, we don't have to do anything and this is very open-ended. So there's no right or wrong. It's just about expressing yourself and making some marks. So first things first is I'm just gonna grab some scissors and cut my piece of paper in half. So I might actually start by folding it, creating a crease so I have something to follow. and then just cutting down that crease line. And I'm just gonna cut two pieces of paper at the same time. So now I have four lengths of paper and 
We're going to stick these together. I've got some masking tape, but you could use a glue stick or some double-sided tape, whatever you have handy. And this is going to be the back, so you won't see the tape. Now I have one really long piece of paper. I'm going to give you some prompts. Feel free to stand up or stay seated. And it's all about getting our body moving and then translating that movement into our mark making. So when I think about juggling at the circus, I might think about the way that I use my arms when I go to juggle. Personally, I can't juggle, not that coordinated. But this is kind of how I imagine that I would move my hands. And then maybe I'll think about what character at the circus does juggle, like a clown. And to me, if I were to think about a clown, I'm going to pick the colour orange. So when I move my body like that, I think of the marks that I would make. So following the line of the ball, or my hands up into the air. And you can make as many marks, you can variate your mark making as you go, make it smaller and larger, just moving across the paper. So really just trying to capture the movement and the energy of juggling. And I might even put some juggling balls in there too. The great thing about this is you can just take it wherever it leads you. It's very open-ended. I might even add a few different colors of my juggling balls. At various different heights along their juggling journey. And your marks might look completely different than mine. It's all about your interpretation. So the next cue that I'm going to work with is a high top tent. So when I think about a high top tent, I kind of think about the shape and the way that it peaks and falls. So I'm going to move my arms in this way just to get my brain thinking about the kind of shapes that I might create on my piece of paper. And then colours wise, I think I'm going to go for a red. I think circus tent, I think a red and white, but yours might be completely different than that. And just creating my high top tent shape. And I might just have two high top tents of different sizes. And I'm over overlapping my other marks that I've made. Perfect. The next cue that I'm going to use is a ringmaster's whip. So moving my arm, kind of feeling like I'm whipping the air. And for that one, I might choose a dark purple. And creating that whipping loose movement across my page. You might move your um, mark making pencil or pen quite quickly. You can work at different paces. When I think of a whip, it's quite a quick action. The next cue that I'm gonna think about is dancers twirling. So again, you can move your body in any way that you'd imagine dancers twirling. If I was to twirl, maybe I put my hands above my head and move around. And for that, I'm gonna choose a bright yellow and twirl my pastel across the paper. Lovely. The next cue that I'm going to use is going to be acrobats twirling. I'm going to go for a light blue 
And if I think about a twirl, maybe somersaulting, flipping. Some might be really big, some might be quite small. So you're welcome to draw in any figures that you like as well. So you don't have to just focus on the mark making. You can take this anywhere that you want to. So my final cue that I'm going to work from is going to be popcorn popping. Picking a yellow and an orange, I might actually bring in a popcorn shape. So when I think about popcorn popping, the way that I would do it with my body might be flicking my hands out. And that kind of mark making on my paper might look like little lines coming out of a central point. You might want to come up with a few cues of your own, just anything that pops into your head when you think about the circus. So use your, your imagination, you might think of clowns or of tigers or just anything that comes to mind and then expressing that with your body and then bringing it down onto paper. Another thing you can do is swap between the mediums that you're using. So I might swap from my oil pastels to textures and just follow the same lines as I've already made, filling in the space a little bit more. So I could start making dotted lines or zigzag lines. Really, I'm just trying to capture some energy here, some vibrancy. And I might leave that there it is quite a long artwork and you can turn it into a book just like Wendy did and start to fold it. So decide how wide you would like your book to be. I would like mine to kind of fit in the palm of my hand, I think. So just going to fold one side in and then making an accordion fold. So folding one way and then folding back the other way. And if you like, you can create a little front cover for your book. I'm going to call mine Energy of the Circus. And there you go. You can display this this way or perhaps make a book this way. And feel free to take this approach to art making and mark making to perhaps another experience. So you might think about cooking something in the kitchen, baking a cake, the different movements that you use and how they would transfer to mark making, or perhaps going for a walk, doing the gardening, whatever you like. Once you've finished your artwork, give it a name, maybe show it to someone, ask them some questions about it, it is always fun. So maybe matching the different marks to the different characters that you think of in the circus. Noticing which lines are continuous, which lines are broken. What colors that you've chosen most. 
I hope you've enjoyed this art making experience and thank you so much for joining me. Remember that you can access this video at any time and that there's an accompanying worksheet.